I've had a request to show how we use ProPresenter to trigger the content that goes to our center screen here at Regional. The way that we do that is we use macros. So in this live training, I'm gonna show you a quick overview of what those macros look like in ProPresenter. So we can take a look here at our show controls. You can see I've got the macros loaded up and there are a lot of macros here, but I'm gonna to choose um, to slide to the very bottom where I have the center screen communication pieces. The way this communication works is it's actually gonna, as I trigger this, it's gonna send a command to my video switcher. So let's see how that link is actually made. So we'll go to the preferences of ProPresenter under the devices. And you can see we actually have this ROS talk. Our video switcher is a ROS video switcher. This ROS talk connection allows for us to send commands to it. The trick is what those commands actually say. So let's say I was to right click on this center screen ProPresenter one. I can choose edit actions and I can see what this particular macro is doing. It says it wants to talk to our ROS video switcher. It says it wants to send a custom command, although I could have it send other items, but the custom control is the one that I wanna send, and that control is numbered 104. Let's take a look at the next one here as well. Um, I'm gonna edit, show, and it is 105. Obviously, each of these does a different task. Um, but I just wanted you to see um, those tasks have a number associated with them. And if I didn't want to remember what that number was, I could use the macros to take care of that. Each of these particular macros are essentially the same as adding a function to a slide. I'm going to just choose this slide, add an action. I'm going to choose communication. I'm going to say it's Ross talk. I'm going to say it's custom control. As you can see, it's like stair step of this and this and this and this and this. You got to remember all of it to make it work. I'm going to choose custom control. Then I'm going to um, tell it which custom control I want. So let's say I want that 105 that goes here. This slide now has the ability to do exactly the same thing that this macro was previously going to do, but I had to go through all those steps to make that happen. Now I'm going to remove that action real quick. Uh, because I don't want to have that, but it, instead I want to use the macro to accomplish the same task without having to think through all the different things that make this macro work. So just drag and drop and boom. Now that slide has the exact function that I would have expected to do by going through all those menu systems, but I didn't even have to remember which custom control it was. I didn't have to remember that it was a custom control. All I had to do was simply add the macro to a slide. And since the macro was pre-programmed with the necessary functions to uh, talk to our Ross video switcher, it was just super straightforward. Um, so just remember those macros can do so much for you. Um, controlling the functions of our center screen are as easy as using a macro that's been pre-programmed for that particular function. If you have questions about what I just did today, um, certainly leave a comment. I'd be happy to respond to you. And uh, thanks for taking a look at, uh, at our training today.